Apple sunscreen recalls, how worried should we be? I've seen a lot of people freaking out about this and wondering how the hell we trust any sunscreens now and honestly, I think it's getting really overblown and that is going to do more harm than the problem itself. Yes, this dodgy testing lab is a huge issue for people in the industry making sunscreens and it's great that it's being addressed at the regulatory level, in Australia at least, but the actual practical impact for regular Australians who use sunscreens is not as big as it seems the sky is not falling, especially since regulatory action is happening. It looks like a lot of sunscreens are being recalled, but these are actually just the one formula with slight tweaks from one manufacturer. That seems to be testing between SPF 4 and 21. How many more sunscreens out there have this problem? Well, 19 out of 20 sunscreens tested by choice were SPF 24 or over at Dermatest, despite having this dodgy testing lab. So the final SPF test is not the only piece of guidance that formulators have to make sunscreens that work. So no, all our progress with skin cancer in the last 40 years is not getting wiped out, we've had dodgy testing labs for a long time, and SPF over 30 didn't actually exist in Australia until 2012. Sunscreen technology has also improved a whole bunch. And no, Australians do not have to somehow work out what an ethical testing lab is to not get sunburned. 19 out of 20 sunscreens tested were over SPF 24, the NAMBO trial found that a type of skin cancer was cut by half with daily SPF 16, essentially according to the Australian Sun Protection Guidelines. The data isn't great for this, but I think it's safe to say we haven't had anywhere near this drop. So by far the biggest factor for skin cancer is behaviour, not sunscreens not being exactly their label to SPF. Less than half of Australians wore sunscreens most days in summer and spring. Why am I emphasising this so much? Yes, this testing situation sucks, but I've talked to way too many non-skincare people saying they feel like they can't trust any sunscreen anymore, they're just paying for nothing, which it's just not true, the empirical data is very clear. And from behavioural science we know that if people think most sunscreen doesn't do much, again not true for the vast majority of sunscreens if you apply regularly, there is a good chance they will be less likely to wear sunscreen at all. And the fact that choices testing is leading to systemic change and recalls is reassuring, it's definitely something that should be fixed and it means Australian sunscreens are going to be even better. But the melodramatic messaging around it telling consumers this sort of thing to me is really unwarranted and is probably causing more skin cancer than it prevents. So keep using sunscreen, make sure you apply enough and regularly, and don't just rely on sunscreen, it's always been the most error prone layer of Swiss cheese. If you want to make sure you get a particular SPF, which remember is a relative ballpark number, then go for something with publicly available retesting.